This is opalite, a glassy material that has some very interesting properties. Most importantly, it's not metallic, which means I can sneak it through airport security. You see, I'm always trying to whittle on my transatlantic crossings to pass the time, and these annoying people keep taking my knives away for possession of a sharply pointed article. Whatever that means. How do you even sharpen an article? So my goal here is to make a knife as sharp as possible, because a sharp knife is a safe knife. And I wouldn't want to be unsafe on a plane. I mean, there's babies on there, for crying out loud. And they sure love doing it. A quick test gave us some confidence, so we went for a knife blank shape. This is what happens when you don't use garnet. It's really pretty, though. How sharp is that? Pretty sharp. Okay. Ooh, nice. All right, it's ready. All right, we're ready to cut. Let's go. We'll heat up this very last piece and draw it out long and then hollow out a piece of wood, stick it in there, and then shape the handle from there. The only thing sharpening the blade with our belt grinder accomplished was smoothing out all our sanding belts. Oh wow. That actually worked extremely well. It yeah. cut off the tip a little bit. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. This one turned out nice. It's even got some swirls on there. But don't call me swirly. Let's make a reverse knife where this is the edge. <laughs> yeah. The opalite kept shattering as I tried to heat it with the blowtorch, so I put it in the old even heat to warm the whole thing before heating a smaller area with the blowtorch. Stubby tang will have to do. Puncture nipple top with a dull object. I don't really see why that was necessary. All right, so there's been a bit of an interesting development. So here we have our knife that we were working on. But I decided, you know what, why don't I try to take a big piece and nap it and see what happens. I hit it a few times and it did this. And I figured I probably wouldn't be able to beat that natural edge it has on it with this. And I think it has a very interesting, unique look. It has this beautiful shape and it looks great in the light. So I figured we can't really beat that. So we might as well just use this one. All right, here goes the tomato test. Now it's certainly an interestingly shaped blade. But it's incredibly sharp. This guy needs some sharpening, eh? It just glides through it, but since it's such a wide blade, it's kind of interesting. All right, I'm gonna try napping this. Now I have to be really careful because I do not want to restart. This is incredibly stressful as someone who has no experience napping. I got plenty of experience with taking a nap, though. <laughs> All right, let's give that a test. Oh, that is much better. I'm getting a nice thin slice here. Look at that. Check out this guy on the cucumber. Its cutting surface isn't huge, obviously, but if you get it right, it just glides right through it like it's nothing. Okay, trying not to hit the table too hard so I don't, ooh. Nice. Y'all gotta get a little of this though. Watch how it cuts this plastic. Whew. Oh, this is like scissors through wrapping paper. Let's try the back end right here. Oh, wowzers. I wish you all could feel this. You're gonna have to feel with your ethereal ears on this one. Oh, this is like a fresh jar of Jif 
peanut butter. It's like I'm unzipping the gateway to eternity. Oh. Kind of have to cut in layers with this guy because of its shape, but wowzers. Whew. Feels like I'm shaving. Well, I'm not confident enough to actually nap this, but I am highly satisfied with our results on this big guy, the, the big accidental nap. The shape might be a little wacky, but it sure as shooting is sharp. Man versus nature. And that's the real beauty, isn't it? At long last, I can whittle in peace on my flights. Oh!